Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Nika. Today we are going to be doing a 30 minute grounding yoga practice. Grounding is so important in today's day and age because we live in this fast paced society with constant stimulation and acceleration, many things going on inside of us as well as around us. I started yoga when I was 16 mainly due to the fact that I was diagnosed with severe anxiety and depression. It saved my life, changed my life, and is an ongoing process of growing, learning, and deepening my practice until this day. I love to practice grounding because it helps me with my anxiety. Let's get started with our legs crossed, Sukhasana. You can sit on a pillow, on a block, anything you need so that you can lengthen your spine up nice and tall. If you're comfortable with it, close your eyes and let's begin. And draw your hands together at heart center, thumbs pressing into the sternum, palms pressing into one another. Take a big inhale through your nose a big sigh out through your mouth. Again, a big inhale through your nose. A big sigh out through your mouth. One more time together. Inhale through your nose, gathering up all your breath. See if you can sip in more at the top. And big audible exhale. Let's start with three rounds of OM. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. OM. your hands to your thighs. Take a few moments to observe. Softly blink your eyes open if they're closed. And together, let's move to child's pose. Draw your toes together, your knees apart, as wide as you need for your body. They can be very close, they can be very far. And rest your forehead down to the earth. If your forehead does not comfortably touch the earth, you can place a block, a pillow, any props that you need to make this a more comfortable pose allowing this to be a space of grounding. Here in child's pose, allow your third eye, your space of imagination, concentration, the ability to see beyond the human eyes. Let this space of intuition connect to the grounding energy of Mother Earth and feel the floor beneath your head. Feel the floor beneath your hands. Feel the ground support you under your knees, and the tops of the feet. Now 
and let your breath continue to be slow and steady, breathing through the nose if possible. Inhale, gently guide yourself up to your hands and knees. Plant your hands beneath your wrists, your knees beneath your hips. On your next inhale, drop your belly, open your chest. On your next exhale, round your spine, look to your navel. Inhale, drop your belly, open your chest, extending your heart open to the world. On your exhale, connect inward, look to your belly button, and get rid of all your breath. Three more times. Inhale, expanding. Exhale, rounding. Stimulating the belly and the parasympathetic nervous system, which brings us down into a more slow, steady, calm and healing state one more time inhale and exhale contract pull yourself back once again child's pose feel the earth under the third eye feel the earth beneath the hands Inhale, draw yourself back up to your hands and knees. Curl your toes. Exhale, slowly press back, downward facing dog. Inhale, softly lower your knees to the earth. And then exhale, let yourself come back again, child's pose. We're going to flow this slowly. Inhale, up, hands and knees. Exhale, back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, softly lower the knees to the earth. Exhale, returning to the ground, child's pose. Again, inhale, tabletop position. Exhale with breath, downward facing dog, no rush. Inhale, lower the knees to the earth. Exhale, find child's pose. Third eye connects to the mat. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees. Exhale, child's pose. Two more times on your own. Rest in child's pose, and this time take your hands back by your feet if it's comfortable. Walk your hands back out in front of you. Slowly lift up to the hands and knees. Inhale. Shift yourself forward into your half plank. And then exhale lower to the earth. Chaturanga. 
Roll the shoulders back, draw the elbows together and feel the heart open just gently here. Cobra posture. Inhale, lift the heart a little bit higher. Exhale, release down to the mat. Make a pillow with your hands and allow your left knee to lift up to the side. Feeling this hip open, but so gently, like you're sleeping in bed. Using gravity and the support of the earth to open your hip. Breathe into your hip. See if with each exhale, you can surrender a little bit more into the floor, feeling the support of gravity, of earth. And slide that leg down. Other side, gently turning your head to the opposite direction. Resting to your other cheek and lifting the other knee to the side. Feeling the front of the hip gently open. Notice the rise and fall of the body with each breath. Slowly slide your right leg down and let's come up for Sphinx Pose. Elbows are right beneath the shoulders. The forearms are parallel to one another, palms planted down and chest open. Press down through the wrists into the floor. Press down through the palms into the earth. Feel the support of the mat beneath your belly, beneath your thighs, and press down through the tops of the feet into the ground. Big breath in. Big sigh out. Good. Let's take our hands to our sides. Press ourselves back gently, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward to the hands and exhale, walk the feet slowly to the hands. Inhale, take a flat back and a long spine. Exhale, let yourself drop into a forward fold. Press through the feet and inhale, rise yourself all the way up to standing. Palms reach up and exhale, hands to your heart. We're going to take some time to simply stand on two feet in mountain pose. Find your feet parallel beneath you, a small hip distance or whatever feels good. Draw your palms again to your heart, thumbs pressing into your sternum. You can look out in front of you or close your eyes. Notice where you hold your weight in your feet. There's no right or wrong, simply observe. Is it in your heels, your toes, the ball of your foot, or somewhere between? Do you hold more weight on your right or left foot? Is 
Notice 10 toes connecting to the mat beneath you. Feel your feet continue to ground deeper into the earth as if you were growing roots. Feeling yourself standing tall and standing up. Strong and sturdy like a mountain. Gathering energy from the earth and letting it rise and pull up the legs to the hips. Notice your hips, if they're forward or back tucked or tilted, swayed one side or the other. There's no right or wrong, just notice. From the hips, feel your strength, this intention of grounding rise to the heart. Connected to our heart, again feeling the thumbs press into the sternum, and the palms press into one another. And from the soles of the feet, notice energy rise to the crown of the head. Be here now, planted strong and firm like a mountain. Big inhale. Big exhale. Good. Inhale, palms float up to the sky. On your next exhale, relax into your forward fold. Inhale, flat back, long spine. Exhale, relax once again into your fold. Press through your feet. Inhale, rise to stand. Sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, palms float up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, let everything go, drop and hang. Press through your feet, inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Last time, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, let everything go. Press through your feet, inhale, we rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms float up to the sky, and exhale, dive down and relax into your forward fold, grabbing a hold of opposite elbows. With the intention here to let the crown of the head drop towards the earth, allowing yourself to empty. Let gravity do the work here. Feel from the soles of the feet to the hips, and then from the hips to the crown of the head. Inhale, flat back, long spine once again. Exhale, step back, one knee and the other, and let's rest child's pose. Slowly lift yourself up and let's come to have a seat with our legs crossed once again. Inhale, lengthen your whole spine and then on your exhale, walk your hands out in front of you and just go as far as your body lets you into a fold. For some of you, that might be just a little bit and that's great. Some of you might go a little further. You're welcome to use a pillow or a block in front of you for some support. 
Maybe your head rests all the way down to the earth. No expectation or judgment about how far you go. That's completely besides the point. We're resting here in order to ground ourselves, to drop once again to the energy of the earth, allowing Mother Earth to ground us. Slowly, let's rise with our next inhale. Let your right hand come to your side and your left arm extend up and over, taking a side bend through the body. Inhale, lengthening up and out. And exhale, opening a little further. Inhale, reach up through center. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale, reach both palms up to the sky. Exhale, draw the hands down to the heart. Big breath in. Big breath out. Let's extend our legs out to either side. They don't have to go very far. If you find that it's difficult to sit up tall here, you're rounding your spine, I invite you to put a blanket, a pillow, something underneath your hips so that they get a little bit higher here and it's more comfortable to sit. Once you've found yourself in the position that feels good for you, inhale, gather length. Exhale, you can choose to stay here if the inner thighs are feeling quite tight today or exhale, perhaps you walk your hands out in front of you a bit. Opening ourselves up at our root chakra. Feel the ground under the hands, under the sits bones, under the legs as you breathe. Slowly press the body up to seated and draw the legs together. Hug the knees into the chest, giving them a big loving squeeze. Inhale. And on your exhale, let your forehead rest your knees if you can. Again, if you need support, something here, feel free to use it, making yourself comfortable. Feeling yourself in this small ball, maybe a familiar place from when you were a child, an earlier time in life. This position of self-soothing, self-love in this small ball.
take three more big breaths here. Staying present with the posture, feeling your feet on the floor, feeling the back of the body open, and the forehead connect to the knees or your prop. Slowly, when you're ready, lift the body up. Let's scoot forward and come down to our back. Rock your knees side to side or in circles a few times, massaging out the back. From here, rest the feet to Mother Earth, plant the hands at the sides, feel the feet parallel to one another, press down through the heels, inhale. On your exhale, roll your hips up to the sky, planting firmly through these feet, breathing here. Feeling yourself in bridge pose really strong through the base of the body, strong through your legs. And allowing that grounding energy from the feet to rise to the hips and into the heart. Two more big breaths. Keep squeezing the muscles on the bottom of the legs the glutes and hamstrings. Inhale. And exhale very slowly. Let yourself lower down one vertebra at a time. Once you've reached the earth, take a few breaths, just relaxing. And let's scoot our hips to the right. Roll both knees off to the left and turn your gaze over your right shoulder. Roll your knees through center, scoot your hips to the left, roll your knees to the right, and look over your left shoulder. Slowly let the body come back to center. Knees touching and feet wide apart so that the legs are inwardly rotating. Then if you'd like to add the arms, crossing the arms over the face, allowing yourself to rest. I invite you to let the weight of the arms really rest into the eyes. Again, this helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system allowing some darkness and pressure on the eyelids. Feeling ourselves go deeper into a state of calm and support. And allowing whatever is coming up to open. Switch the other arm on top.
feeling cozy, feeling safe, feeling supported. How can you surrender deeper? Let go of any tension in the hips, in the shoulders, or in the jaw. Let go of any tension in the mind, or in the heart, or in your soul. Or any tension they may have with one another. Again, let gravity support you. Let the earth hold you for a few more deep breaths. Nothing to do but rest. Uncross the arms, let the arms rest at the sides, the legs lengthen down for a few breaths. Just observing how you feel, again with no expectation or judgment, knowing some days calmness comes easier than others. There's no right or wrong, just feeling what you're feeling and then letting it go with your next exhale. Observing if there's any messages coming up for you from the wisdom of your body, from your practice, And then when you're ready, blink your eyes open. Let's make some little movements. And then slowly roll over to the side. Take a big breath in here. And on your next exhale, allow yourself to surrender deeper. One last time. Letting go of any final unwanted doubt, fear, shame, anxiety, stress. Anything getting in your way from being limitless. In your true unbound nature of freedom, joy, and ease. When you're ready, guide yourself back up to seated, taking your time, finishing how we started with our legs crossed, lengthening the spine, palms pressing together again at our heart. One round of OM. Inhale. Aum. The light to love in me honors the same light to love in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for your time, your willingness to be open and to practice today. And most of all, thank yourself. Remember to be patient with your practice and to keep showing up. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.